After the last two videos about the Joywing, this being the last version, many people requested me to mount an FPV camera on it and see how it goes. So I found the right solution for it. And this is the Runcan Split Nano 3, I think. This camera can capture HD, full HD footage at 60 frames per second, and it's very small, very light, and also you can use it as an FPV camera. I know that this wing is a little bit damaged because I was flying the other day and I crashed it. So yeah, that was not good, but nothing to worry about. I can fix it very quick. So I will fix it and mount the camera and let's go out and fly. All right, this is not meant to be an unboxing video. I'm just gonna open the box and then I'm gonna show you the camera and all of that. I already used the camera, so the, the box was open already. So that's why I'm telling you this is not an unboxing video. I'm just gonna show you all uh, this. This is uh, something that tells you where you can download the manuals and everything. So you go straight to Runcam website and download the manual and everything. It's very important that you see the manual. It has it explains uh, some stuff that is in important for you to know. Then we have some other ex extra stuff. Um, and of course we have the camera. This is to hold the SD or micro SD card in place. So if you use this plastic thing here, it has a little holder or protector there. So the, the SD card won't come out in case of a crash or something. It already happened to me. I wasn't using this, so it's important that you use it if you don't want to lose your micro SD card. There is some other stuff included like this mounting thing and some mounting um, screws and standoffs and all of that. So that's included in the box. Let's just um, take a look at the camera. As you can see, the camera comes in two main parts, the camera itself, and then there is a bunch of wires going to the, this module that is the actual electronics that will do all the hard job. That is all the processing, all the uh, recording, everything is done in this module. It makes the camera also smaller, so you can place it in very small spaces. For micro drones, it's perfect. And for the Joy Wing, it's also perfect. So I started the process of wiring this thing with a video transmitter. By the way, it's a very small transmitter, so everything fits inside of the Joy Wing. So here we have it. I mounted the camera and the transmitter. The transmitter is very small, but still uh, the, the space is very small for this setup and it got very crowded in there. So this is the battery I'm using, a 500 milliamp 3S battery. And here you can see the rest of everything. I, I made all the connections. The wiring is very easy. Then we have the module of the camera in here. We have the transmitter in here and the antenna sticking out like that. And the camera is just in the front like that. I just tested it. It works just fine. Okay, so I have everything ready to go out and fly. So let's check the weather just the next day all right so it stopped raining for a little bit so it's a perfect time to do this so i'm gonna i'm gonna set everything up and make some flights so in this first flight i'm using the fpv goggles and it looks just normal as any other fpv system the only difference is that i'm recording on board the camera so the main screen that you see there is recorded with a camera and it looks fantastic for the price and for the form factor of the camera, which is very small and very light, I think is a fantastic quality. This view looks like the cockpit of a Star Wars movie. Anyways, I started flying LOS because my goggles had some technical difficulties, but I will fix it soon. The main thing is that you can appreciate the HD quality of this camera, and it was also very fun flying with FPV. 
By the way, if you want to buy this camera, I will leave the link in the description below. The weather on this next day was a lot better, so I'll leave you with some images of the flights. Alright guys, remember to subscribe if you haven't done it already and that would be nice for this channel, keeps me doing some stuff. I appreciate every comment, every like and every subscription. I'll see you in the next project.